Mizuno T20 wedges. If you're craving the high spinning wedge from the perfect lie on perfect conditions on a perfect day with the sun out and everything happy, this may not be your wedge. Mizuno have even said as much, unless I'm misquoting them, in which case, that's unlucky. But if you crave consistency in your wedges and you want trust in them no matter what, no matter the conditions, then the Mizuno T20 may be your guy. Now nothing feels like a Mizuno, a claim almost indisputable, and the new T20 wedges are no exception. So there's something reassuring about the feel and sound of a forged head, a 1025E forged head no less. The addition of boron helps the groove stay in premium condition for longer and more spin. As Mizuno have done for as long as I can remember, their grooves actually vary by loft group. The high lofted wedges feature a wider, shallower groove for the more glancing shots and higher spin, whereas the lower loft feature a deeper, slightly narrower groove for more spin on full shots. But the all-weather consistency, this is enhanced by the Hydroflow grooves. A cheeky little vertical micro groove milled into the faces of the wedges prior to the plating process for added longevity and even more spin. Now we know the T20 wedges are more consistent in dry and damp conditions, but what we want to know is at what point performance starts to drop away. So we're going to test that right now, scientific-ishly. T20 wedges. We've tested them in the dry, we've tested them damp, we've tested wet, and we've tested torrential. But for the hydroflow grooves to truly prove themselves, we've got to pass the final test. Oh. Mizuno T20 wedges. I love the look, I love the feel, I love everything about them. I just love them.